Zach, I'm kidding. What do you think? Congratulations. You've been set up. This is yours. Either we got a problem or you got a bad end. And we got you set up right here with a two liter turbo, video tested, ready to go. Man, I miss working on this thing. I have new parts for it though. I actually found some local parts, really just one local part. Got a new rear fender for it. It needs just a little bit of body work. There's a tiny little dent down here. No big deal, I'll fix that before we end up painting the whole thing. And I also bought some new parts. I bought a new front fender because I couldn't find a used one for a good price anywhere. Not even locally or anything or online. And also, this is my front bumper. Yeah, <laughs> it, may, it may look a little small to you. That's because it's like folded in half. Yeah, it's the updated front bumper. It's a 2017 and above front bumper. It's a different look to it. Uh, I couldn't decide which one I wanted, so I let you guys decide which one I should get, and this one won. And I bought it new, thinking it would come in perfectly okay, because, you know, it's hard to ruin the front bumper in shipping, but I guess there is a way to do it. Uh, it has, like, a whole warning thing, like, hey, we do this. It shouldn't damage your bumper, so we're going to open it, and hopefully it's not damaged. Usually when stuff gets folded like this, it creases, and... It looks pretty bad, but we'll see. Maybe um, I'm optimistic, uh, but we'll see. Also, you may notice it's pretty dirty right now. It's been sitting underneath my tree for a few weeks, so we're gonna clean it up, wash it, throw all the body panels on, make sure all the body lines are okay, make sure everything is good to go before we take it all apart and start getting it ready for priming and painting. All right, I wanna open this thing first because I'm really curious. Man, I miss working on this thing. It's been sitting in my yard for a couple months. We just need to go ahead and get it done and get it painted. So I pulled it in here. I did a little bit of adjusting off camera, getting it all lined up as, about, as best as I could, as best I could for a car that's wrecked and I'm using aftermarket parts. So it's not gonna be perfect, but it definitely looks really, <laughs> it definitely looks good. All the body lines pretty much match the whole way down. The front looks pretty good. It's a little low right here. I can probably fix that later. Over here, it looks really good. 
Yep, all the fenders match, the headlights fit in, all the bumpers line up, you can fit all the bolts in them, everything is good to go. I've ordered and gotten most of the pieces I need in, like this front little eye hook thing, the grill right here. I ordered these grills on the side, they're just not in yet. And then turn signals I have. I need to order this marker light, I totally forgot about that. Headlights are in, everything. I think I have everything in to make this a driving street legal car, <laughs> to put it that way. Still a bunch of stuff I actually wanna get for this, but I needed the main essentials first. But now that we have everything lined up, we can go ahead and start prepping for paint. And I need to talk to you guys about the paint. This is getting a color change and it's getting a very drastic paint job, to put it lightly. I'm gonna try to explain this as best as I can because it's a kind of a complicated paint job. And I'm gonna throw some pictures up on the screen so you guys can try to picture in your head what I'm going for. Now, the first beetle I fell in love with of this body style was the 2012 SEMA beetle. It's a green and white beetle. I'm sure they did a bunch of motor work. I don't really know that. Just the whole visual aspect to it, I fell in love with. I love the colors. I love the roof rack. I love the front bumper, the splitter in the front end. I loved all that. So that's the whole kind of beach vibe thing I'm going for. And I also want to combine it with my second favorite beetle. Now that beetle is JW Cardi's Volkswagen beetle he had back when this car first came out. And he would plasti dip it a bunch of different times, a bunch of different colors. But the color I fell in love with, or the whole paint job I fell in love with, was when he painted it blue and he gave it a patina paint job. And it looks, <laughs> I think it looks really awesome. I know a lot of people like, didn't care for it or whatever. It's very out there, but I love it so much. I love patina look on cars. I love old cars that just look rusty and looks like they're falling apart, but they actually are very good running machines. I, I like that whole, uh, I like that whole style, I guess. So what basically what I'm getting at is I'm going to combine both of those into one, basically. So it's going to be green and white on the side. The roof's going to be black, like a glossy black. The, a lot of other trim pieces are going to be black, but green and white on the car and also rustic and patinaed and looks like it's been sitting in a field for 50 years. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited about how I think I can make it work. Now I would talk about how I'm gonna make it rusty because there's like a whole process to that, but I'll get to that actually when we're starting to do it because it's not later on until before we clear coat. But first thing we need to do is take apart all these panels. Since we're color changing it, I wanna paint all the door trims, paint all the insides of the fenders, the trunk area. I wanna paint all that so it doesn't stand out when you open doors or anything or open the hood. So we're gonna paint the inner side of the hood too. All the same color, It's all that's gonna go green and like the only little part's gonna go white right there. So but like I said, we have to take apart all this stuff. <laughs> so the whole front end is gonna go off first. I'm probably gonna prime these and paint them. And while I'm talking about priming, cause I've noticed this in a lot of other YouTubers, they don't really talk about it. Aftermarket parts, including like OEM parts mostly, they come with this black paint job and a lot of people just paint over top of it thinking it's primer. It's not really primer. It's called like an electric, electric primer, electric paint job. I don't know, I don't know the whole technical terms to it, but you cannot paint over this. You have to put a sealer or a primer over it because the paint will fail eventually. Same thing with front bumpers and everything. You have to put a primer over them or the paint will peel. They don't stick. Just, I just want to throw that out there for you guys. Make sure you prime any kind of new parts you have. But anyways, what I was saying is I'm going to take the whole front end off. I'm going to prime all the pieces and trim them out. So I'm going to paint like the corners and everything, the actual color green. It's going to go and then we'll put it all back together. That way this will be all ready for paint. And then we'll move to the rear end, take off all the fenders, the bumpers, paint all the trim pieces, prime them, and then do the trunk area. And then we'll do the door area. So we're going to paint all this stuff green to match the rest of it. Yeah, it's a, it's gonna be a lot of work and it's gonna take a lot of time to do that since I don't have a huge garage to paint in. So we're gonna do it piece by piece and then slap it all back together and then put the top coat and then the rust and then <laughs> hopefully it turns out good so it won't be a ton of work to fix it. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Uh, I really think it's gonna turn out good. You guys can let me know in the comments if you like the idea or not. It's definitely gonna stand out and people are gonna notice this car and know it's me. Uh, you can let me know in the comments. I'm not gonna change my mind because I'm pretty set on this, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Is it gonna be cool? Is it gonna be ugly? Is it gonna ruin it? I don't, I don't care. <laughs> you guys can let me know, but I don't, I don't care. <laughs> I think it's gonna look sick. So we're gonna go ahead and start taking off this front end and get the rest of this car out of here and start priming and painting and hopefully go from there.
I decided to go ahead and take off the front and the rear end just to get it all out of the way right now and hopefully prime it all in one go. I think I can fit it on here. I'm gonna get really close to try to fit it all on all the stands and get it all primed. Also, I went ahead and fixed this dent right here. Wasn't that hard to fix. A little hammering, a little bit of body filler. We're good to go. And then I noticed this rear bumper. This rear bumper must have got hit in the back or he backed up into something and it was all rippled and there's some cracks in it. So sanded all that down, put, put a thin coat of glazing putty on it and brand new. So we're good to go on all the body work. Next up is to sand all these down and throw some primer on it. So let's do that and hopefully you can get some primer on it by the end of the day. The sealer turned out really good. No runs, no nothing in it. Just a one little quick coat. That's all you really need for it. And I was gonna throw the color on on the inside right here and on the mounts. So well, all the places that you're not gonna be able to get to whenever all these panels are on the car. So underneath the hood and stuff too, all that was gonna get painted the green. I was gonna show that off to you today, but the paint store didn't have the colors it needed to mix it. So I'm gonna have to wait till tomorrow or the next day to go pick it up. Unfortunately, that's not enough time for me to get a video out for you guys. So that's just gonna be at the move to the next episode. I, know, I, I was really annoyed because I was really excited to show you the colors because I think they're pretty cool, the color I picked out. But I'm about to wait for the next episode. And not much green is going to be painted on this. It's just like the inside for right now. Places I can't get to whenever I have it on the car. And then like the back side of the, the gas cap and stuff. Just making it easier for me. But that's all going to be the next episode. Painting the underside of the hood too. Get that all that out of the way. But yeah, next episode. Sorry guys, I just... It's unfortunate, but it happens. Can't do anything about it. And I'm also gonna sand all this down. I'm probably gonna wet sand this to make it really smooth. Make sure the paint's really flat. Even though I'm putting like a real rust texture, so it's gonna be rough and everything on it, I still like to do it the right way and wet sanding all this before I actually throw the color on. And this part down here is gonna be black, so I gotta take this off and I'm gonna paint that black. And I'm probably gonna paint a lot of the random pieces in the next episode. I might just paint the wing and everything that's gonna go black. I might just go ahead and paint that black to get it out of the way. Don't really have a plan for next episode. It's not going to be completely done next episode. I can tell you that because it's going to be a long process, but we'll, we'll get close. Yeah. So if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, I post a lot of behind the scenes. I'll probably show off the color to you guys in my Instagram story. I also post a lot of polls and stuff. Like recently I posted a poll on if I should keep or shave the front emblem on the hood. 
And it was really close. It was like 55 to 45 on keeping it. So I decided to keep it. I like doing these little random polls, get you guys involved a little bit more. And I like doing that. I like seeing you guys' input. So follow me there if you want to. If not, I will catch you guys next episode. I'm still trying to do two videos a week, but it's just this stuff's really time consuming. I don't want to do a really boring video for you guys. So it might be one video a week for right now until I get all this painting done. And I don't want a whole episode of me just sanding because sanding is not fun to watch. I don't like recording it. I don't like watching it. <laughs> yeah, so we're kind of just skip along that stuff to get to the fun stuff like painting and the whole transformation of the car. So that's what I'm excited about and I hope you guys are excited too. All right, I'll catch you next episode. Bye.